Hello, how's it going? It's 2013, New Year's Day. I'm, it's weird. It is 2.20 in the afternoon and I have not had any matcha yet. It's, it's a weird day. I hope that furnace in the background will not be too loud. Uh, so I'll have to make sure that's not weird. Having a little bit of canarias here. I've reviewed this mate before. I will post a link to that video right, right here. It's going to be right there. A little link for the canarias review. Uh, yep, pouring my first gourd of the day. I've been drinking Mission the past couple days, so now I'm back to my canarias. Uh, fairly soon I'll be getting some Cruz de Malta to review. Um, I'm going to try and review as many as I can, but, you know, I don't have money, so I can't afford the crap. Uh, so it's hard, it's hard to get a hold of new mates to review, so I'll do the best I can to get more. Uh, but, anyways, beside the point of this video... Well, I guess not, because it's also sort of an update. Um... Yeah, I'd like to review Cruz de Malta, uh, Nobleza Guacha, I believe is what it's called, or Gaucha. Um, I'd like to review um, Pajarito, that would be an interesting one. Uh, there's, I want to review all the mates out there. Um, but you know one thing I don't understand? Why is frickin' Guayaki and friggin' Mate Factor so damn expensive? I don't get that. Um, it's like I'm not, it's like bastardized mate. I'm sorry, I know it's probably really good mate, right? The guayaki and the uh, mate factor stuff. But I think it's sort of like wannabe mate drinker snob stuff, you know? It's like I'm trying to think of a good way to explain it. It's just obnoxious mate, and they they way overprice it. It's like the American version of mate. I've also heard somewhere online that Mate Factor, um, they're like, they have some anti-gay tendencies and stuff, which I just hate that stuff. I hate, I hate people who are anti-gay, I hate anti-Semitism, or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't even know. Um, but, um, actually, I, I hate people who are intolerant, and I, I hate, no, I don't, I don't hate people who are intolerant, I don't really hate anyone. I I dislike intolerance to an extreme level. A lot of my good friends are gay. You know, I have tons of friends from all different religious backgrounds, all different races. You know, come from different countries, and you know, everyone really is equal in the end. You know, I I really dislike it. People think they're better somehow. You know, but that'll be for another video. <laughs> I'll rant on that. not getting very good draw space on this cord for some reason. Normally a, a Canarias flows really well, but whatever. That's better. Um, so anyways, the point of this video is I'm doing a giveaway. Um, New Year's Day, thought I'd do something special. Uh, I have a bunch of crap here to give away. I <laughs> have not quite decided yet whether or not I'm going to give, a, give it away in two packs or one. Um, so I'll decide by the end of the video, obviously. Um, you know, I don't have many people watching my videos right now, obviously, because I'm a new YouTuber. Uh, so I'll probably just do one larger giveaway pack. That'll make it a bit more special, too. Okay, first things that I have in here. It is related to Mate. Uh, can you guess what it is? It starts with a G. It's a bunch of Guayusa. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna have a review of some Guayusa, of a Guayusa tea bag I have later, but it's like Guayusa with mate and ginseng. So, um, now, one thing I have to explain is <laughs> the stash teas. These are stash right here. These, these ones look like this. They have a, the, the back is ripped. Don't let that freak you out. I didn't poison them, okay? What that was, if you see, if you win this and you see the tea bags ripped, what that was, was it came in an envelope like this, and there was tape inside of it, and it was the tape that ripped off, so <laughs> don't worry, it's all good. Um, 
Next I have Runa Guayusa. This is um, Mint Guayusa, I believe. Um, this is uh, Ginger Citrus Guayusa. I actually got all these for free. I was going to review them, but I figured now that I'm into Mate so far, I wasn't into Mate at the time. Um, I'm, I'm just going to focus on this for a little while. And I'm all, I don't drink tea bags anymore. That's one other thing. I, I really normally don't, unless I'm drinking Roybus tea, because I don't like, I don't, I don't have tons of loose, I don't have money for the loose leaf tea. Um, or, uh, because I have to get it shipped in. But when I drink Roybus, sometimes I'll drink it in bags, but pretty much I'm straight loose tea. Um, and this is cinnamon lemongrass, Guayusa. Now, if you don't know about Guayusa, you can look it up. It's related to the, um, Yerba Mate plant. It is holly, one of the other known caffeinated holly plants. Sorry, just born a gourd here. I love this canadias. It's nice and deep, smoky. In the future, I'm also going to try and drink mostly non-smoked mate, just because, or lightly smoked. Because you know, even though it's smoked mate isn't the best for you, you know, you know, stress is the biggest killer, so. Um, yes, now, so we have four packets of Guayusa, one is Stash, three are Runa, all different flavors, this one's actually Guayusa with chai. I don't think I mentioned that. Next, I have a couple of these. These are interesting. I never really got into these. I used to drink coffee a lot, but I never really got into the instants. But I have some Starbucks Via Ready Coffee. It's Colombian medium. So thought it would be fun to throw in there. I have some more stash tea. Uh, I have English breakfast black tea, just a generic tea, but you know it's stash, so it's it's. It's pretty good tea. Um, then I have a fusion breakfast green and black tea. It's weird. I don't I don't do the fusions very much. This also has a tear on the back. Don't freak out about those. Um, it's not uh, no. It's not actually torn. It's just the the paint sticking off the back. You know, the ink. But yeah, I have these two stash teas, um, black and green. And then the last ones. Are Republic of Tea. Uh, they're hibiscus teas, but there are different flavors with them. Here's hibiscus, uh, and it's a super flower tea. Um, yeah, heart healthy African blossoms. I'm not going to get into this. You'll see when you when you get these. Um, these are really good for iced tea. But this is hibiscus with key lime. When I drink herbal tea, I don't a lot of I don't drink for flavor that much anymore. I drink for health benefits or for effects, much like mate, although I do absolutely love the flavors of mate. As I drink more, I start to pick up on different flavors. Like, if you look at Dave Mate, um, some of his videos and stuff, and at his website, when he talks about mate, so like, pick up on flavors in them, and I'll taste them, and I'll be like, yeah, I can, I can taste that. Like in Canarias, you get a flavor of toast. But you also can, at, at, when it's starting to wash out, it tastes a bit like cake. Not like frosted cake, but just like, I think like a plain cake donut. Uh, but I pick up on weird stuff like that now. Um, this one's hibiscus um, with vanilla apple. Forgive me if I mispronounce this. is hibiscus with pineapple leche. Leche, I believe, is what that is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'd love to know if I'm wrong. Um, and hibiscus with coconut. So that's, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything in here. Here's, yeah, um, so here's what you'll be getting. It'll come in an envelope. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is the giveaway pack. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll also throw in a circle of drink sticker. <laughs> Why not? Uh, check these guys out, circleofdrink.com. Uh, you can look them up on YouTube. They're amazing. They're the guys that got me into mate. If you don't know about mate, look it up right now. 
right now. Open up a little tab. You can do it like up. My computer screen just died. Um, you can open up a tab like right up there. Go ahead, do it. Um, type in yerba mate, circle of drink, whatever you want. Just find your way to it. But it will change your life. Um, yeah, wrap the COD. I'll throw in one of those stickers. <laughs> um, I'll have to get some more though to give to people. Yeah. So now we got to go on to how you're going to enter the contest to win this delightful little care package of tea. Um, let me think of how we're going to do this. I probably should have thought of this out before, a bit of ahead of time. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't. I just zoned out. I didn't. I was drinking a gourd. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave a comment with your favorite kind of tea in it. Um, I'd enjoy it if you subscribed to my channel, but I'm not gonna be one of those Hitler guys who's like, you must subscribe to win the contest. So if you'd like to be nice and you, if you'd like to support my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Salud. But all you gotta do is leave a comment um, with your favorite kind of tea in it. It can be any tea you want. It can be cheap ass Lipton tea, or it can be the fanciest pu'er you can think of, right? <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, that's all you gotta do. I will use a random number generator or some other thing like that. I will randomly select a comment on the video. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see who wins. Uh, I'll post a video response with the winner. I will get in contact with you. I will send you a message over YouTube if you win. And I will ask for your shipping details. You can give those to me. Now, sorry, there's one catch, though. I'd enjoy it if you are in the U.S. or Canada. <laughs> because, as you can tell, I, am, I, I, ha I don't have money for nice crap anymore. Um, I can barely afford the mate I'm drinking, um, and, and uh, all this crap in the background, that's not mine, that's my dad's crap, um, but, uh, I'm living at home, but, um, uh, yeah, I can barely afford the mate I'm drinking, so I'm sorry if you are overseas, uh, but I cannot ship to you, because I cannot afford $35 shipping to ship like 20 or 30 packets of tea um, to someone I don't know. I'm sorry about that. So US or Canada only. Leave your comment and uh, we'll see who wins. I will post the winner in the next video. I'll get in touch with you. It'll be good. Uh, thanks for your time so much. I'm real. I really enjoy that you enjoy my videos. Um, salud. Um, let me know what you want to see in the future. Let me know what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to make you do anything. <laughs> I'll keep making the videos. But yeah, I recently reached the 4,000 total view mark, which I know is nothing compared to YouTube. There's Gundam style with, bil with a billion views on it. Um, but you know, 4,000? <laughs> that's actually something <laughs> for some kid sitting at home, you know, in his basement. Um, just making videos for the heck of it. I mean, 4,000 people took the time to look to even look at one of my videos or something I made. I think that's pretty darn cool. Um, definitely inspiration will be okay. The mate is kicking in, um, so I'm gonna go. Um, uh, yeah, thanks for your time. I hope you have an awesome day. Make this new year a great one. Uh, stay safe out there. Don't do anything too stupid. You know, it's just another day. Not that special. Uh, but yeah, it's good to be alive. Thanks for watching. Philip, signing out. Salud.